Hello everyone, it is me Sasha Kawaii Cat and in today's video, I'll be turning Disney villains into sea witches. A while back, I made a video turning Disney princesses into mermaids. We are currently in the month of May and I've decided that for this year, I do drawings of some popular Disney villains. I try to choose villains that are very recognizable and I thought would look good as sea witches. Hopefully you all like how the designs turned out. So let's get started. The first character I decided to draw is Maleficent. Maleficent is a fictional character who appears as the main antagonist in Walt Disney's production's 16th animated feature film Sleeping Beauty. She is represented as an evil fairy and the self-proclaimed mistress of all evil. After not being invited to a christening, she curses the infant princess Aurora to prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die before the sun sets on Aurora's 16th birthday. So I chose to draw Maleficent more so because I really like her design and I thought it would translate really well to a sea witch design, which I think I was correct in thinking that because I think she turned out pretty good. Um, I made some changes here and there, but I do think the changes work for her design. I also really like um, Maleficent's whole look. I like her makeup. I like her whole aesthetic. I think she looks very pretty and <laughs> really cool. And I do think that she's one of the more memorable villains. She's definitely from like the early stages of Disney villains when they were still evil and <laughs> still mean. Like Maleficent is such a petty character. She essentially does what she does to Aurora simply because she wasn't invited to her christening, <laughs> which is very petty and very mean. Um, the newer villains, well, I say newer villains, but there aren't any real villains anymore in Disney. But the newer characters, the twist villains and stuff aren't, <laughs> they're not that good to be honest. And I do think they try to make them more complicated, even the sort of not really villains that they do, but I like Maleficent's whole deal. I always liked her character and thought she was cool. I'm more so familiar with her from the Kingdom Hearts game because I'm a huge fan of that whole series, that whole game series. And she's like, She's a huge part of most of the games. Not so much Kingdom Hearts 3, but in the earlier games, she plays like a huge role, I'll, I'll say that. And I really liked her characterization there. I don't know how similar it is to the original, her original character in the original um, animated film. I did also watch um, Maleficent the movie and I thought it was pretty good. Again, I'm pretty sure they changed her character a lot in that movie because I don't think Maleficent originally cared about Aurora, <laughs> but I still liked her character overall. As for the drawing process, so I really wanted her to look like a sea creature. So I added some sea elements. I gave her the, the sort of fins on the side of her head. Um, I made her outfit a little bit more revealing um, <laughs> to sort of match like Ursula's design since all of these characters are based on Ursula. I gave her a similar design to Ursula in some aspects. There were some aspects of this that were difficult to draw, but overall I think it turned out okay. I'm happy with the changes that I made and I think overall her design does look good as a sea witch. Please comment below and let me know what you think. What do you think of this design? What do you think of the way it turns out? Please comment below and let me know. Our next character is the Evil Queen. So the Evil Queen is a fictional character who appears as the main antagonist in Walt Disney's productions of the first animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. In this film, the Evil Queen is cold, sadistic, cruel, and extremely vain, owning a magic mirror and obsessively desiring to remain the fairest in the land. She becomes madly envious over the beauty of her stepdaughter, Princess Snow White, as well as the attention of the prince from another land. This leads her to plot the death of Snow White, transforming into an evil witch and tricking her into eating a poisoned apple. So I chose to do the evil queen as my second character to turn into a sea witch because I really like her design. I think she's really pretty. I think she's really hot. <laughs> she has really nice makeup. Um, she looks really cool and she's one of the original evil, evil um, Disney villains back when they were still villainous and evil. <laughs> and she's an iconic character, even though she doesn't have a name. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I really like her design and she's another one that I looked at her and thought, yeah, this will translate really good to a sea witch design. So for her overall design, 
I decided to add some sort of sea elements as well. I gave her some fins on her arms and I didn't have that much trouble with the tentacle this time because I used an image of Ursula. There's an image of Ursula sitting with her tentacles in a way that looks like they're sort of crossed that I use as the reference. It looks really cool. It sort of looks like her legs are crossed, but her tentacles are crossed. It looks really cool. So I use that as a reference for the legs and well, not the legs. I use it as a reference for the tentacles and I think it turned out a little bit better than what I did for Maleficent. I also took certain elements um, from her overall design and made it more sea themed. So she's wearing like a necklace on her cloak. I made that a seashell and I made her crown a little bit different. I added some gems, I think it looks cool. I also changed her overall outfit a bit. So <laughs> I really wanted to sort of match Ursula's design because they're all based on Ursula and yeah, she kind of has like a cleavage thing going on. So I gave her like a little cleavage thing as well. I also changed her skin tone. Initially, she had a sort of more human skin tone, her original skin tone, but because Ursula is purple and her sister um, from the second movie is green, I decided that I would go with a non-humanoid skin tone and make her skin tone blue to match her outfit. Overall, I think the design turned out pretty great. I like how she looks. I think she looks pretty cute. I'm happy with the final results of this drawing. Please comment below and let me know what you think. What do you think of this design? What do you think of the characters so far? Leave a comment below and let me know. Let us move on to our third character, Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil is a fictional character known as the villain of the film and book 101 Dalmatians. Cruella is depicted as a pampered glamorous London heiress and in the original story she was a former schoolmate of Mrs. Dearly, one of the owners of the original Dalmatians. But Mrs. Dearly says they were not friends because Cruella frightened her. As a child Cruella had one black plate and one white plate and was eventually expelled for drinking ink. However, she appears to be on friendlier terms with Mrs. Dearly by the novel's beginning. Before Cruella steals the Dearly's Dalmatian puppies, having noted they would make enchanting for coats and that no one had thought of making coats of dog skins before. Now, I've never actually seen the original 101 Dalmatians, but I did watch the TV series and I've actually read the original book. And I do remember, <laughs> I do remember Cruella being expelled for drinking ink and I do remember her being friends with the owners of the original dogs. I do remember also being very confused about the names of the dogs. In the book, I believe there are three dogs <laughs> who are trying to find the puppies. I might be confused. I might be misremembering mis some stuff. But I do remember that there was Pongo and Perdita, but Perdita was like a whole separate dog <laughs> that wasn't actually with Pongo. She was like a dog they found. I don't even remember if if the family that owned the dogs were actually named Anita and Roger. <laughs> Who knows? But I do remember really liking the book. I thought it was interesting. And I did really like the, the series 101 Dalmatians. I thought it was funny. It was cute. As for Corella as a character, I really chose her because <laughs> again, she's one of the iconic characters. I really like her design. I thought she looked really nice as a sea witch. As for the actual drawing process though, I had a really hard time translating her love of furs into a sea witch character because I mean, there aren't a lot of furry animals in the sea, <laughs> but I decided to have one of the eels, I think they're called eels, one of Ursula's eels wrapped around her shoulders, kind of like she's wearing it as like a fashion thing, even though it's like a dead animal. I mean, it's a similar concept. I don't know if it works, but that's what I did. I think it looks okay, or at least I hope it looks okay. For her outfit, I gave her red gloves and a really nice dress. I tried to match her original design, so really it's just her original design, but I tried to change it up a bit so that it would kind of be similar to Ursula's look because again, I'm kind of basing all these characters on Ursula's overall look. I also tried to keep her facial structure the same. I think she turned out okay. Please comment below and let me know what you think. What do you think of this design? I don't know if it's my favorite, but I still do like how she turned out.
Last but certainly not least, we have Mother Gothel. Mother Gothel is a fictional character who appears in Walt Disney's production's 50th animated feature film, Tangled. Loosely based on Dame Gothel in the German fairy tale Rapunzel, Mother Gothel is a vain old woman who hoards the strong healing powers of a magical golden flower to live for many, many years and remain perpetually young and beautiful. When the flower is harvested to heal the kingdom's ailing queen, its powers are inherited by the kin and the queen's daughter Rapunzel, removing Gothel's access. With her life suddenly endangered, Gothel kidnaps the infant, imprisoning the princess in an isolated tower for 18 years while posing as her mother to exploit her powers. So, Mother Gothel. I chose to draw Mother Gothel as the last character because I just really like her design and I really like the character. Her villain song is really good and really memorable and the music is a huge part of why I like Disney films. I think that Mother Gothel is one of the last real Disney villains, I think. I'm trying to really remember the other villains that came after her because I think after Tangled, they sort of, Disney sort of started doing this twist villain sort of thing or really this thing where they didn't really have a sort of mustache twirling villain anymore. There is a villain in Coco. When did Coco come out? <laughs> I do remember Coco having a villain, but I think that's Pixar, not Disney. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, I really like Gothel as a character. I like her overall design. I thought, you know what? She'd look good as a sea witch. For her design, I also gave her a non-human eye type skin color. I gave her sort of pink, reddish type of skin. It's pink. I gave her pink skin. I also made her hair a sort of auburn, sort of red color instead of black to match her whole like red aesthetic. I think she looks pretty good as a sea witch. I like how the design turned out overall. Um, I do think I changed maybe a bit too much on the character. Maybe I shouldn't have changed her hair to red. I don't know if it's recognizable that this is meant to be Mother Gothel. I don't know if I did a good job like recreating her character, but I do like the drawing overall. Also, while I was drawing her, I started to realize that a lot of these characters have green eyes. Is that a thing? Like, do a lot of Disney villains have green eyes or, or am I just making that up? Like, what color is Scar's eyes? I think her Scar has green eyes. I think she has green eyes. Maleficent, I'm not sure what Maleficent's eye color is. I think it's green as well. I'm pretty sure the evil witch has green eyes. What is that? Is that a thing? Have I noticed a trope? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, as for the design um, and the drawing process, she was the final character. I think I had some trouble drawing her hands, but overall she wasn't that difficult to draw. But I think she looks good. My only concern is that she isn't that recognizable as Mother Gothel, but I do like how the character turned out. Please comment below and let me know what you think. What do you think of this design? <laughs> so those are all the characters. Please let me know what you think of all the characters. Do you like how they turned out? Comment below and let me know what your opinions are. I tried my best to <laughs> draw them and make them look like really cool sea witches. So yeah, let me know what your opinion is in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my art and you'd like to show your support, you can always donate to my coffee account or become a patron. The link to that is always in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.